Hi, this is Josh Olson, and today on Trailers from Hell, we're going to take a walk down the mean streets of Los Angeles from 1973 with Robert Altman and Elliot Gould. This is the kiss-off, baby. It's the long goodbye. Hey! Hey, Mrs. Wade! Hey, it's funny watching this movie today because when it came out, a lot of people saw it as an outrageous assault on the hard-boiled detective genre by a bunch of hippies. It was also pushed a little bit as a comedy. One of the posters for the film was done by the great Jack Davis, who was uh, an artist from Mad Magazine and featured cartoon bubbles with people saying funny things on it. So you can understand the confusion a bit. But when you look at it today, stripped of everything from the time and then the promotional campaign, uh, you can see it's a pitch-perfect entry in the genre. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to say, what is all this about? And he says, uh, shut up, I ask the question. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> With Elliot Gould as a very worthy successor to Humphrey Bogart, playing the detective Philip Marlowe, one of the great uh, hard-boiled detectives. Elliot Gould was a huge star at the time with uh, great counterculture credibility. He'd already worked with Bergman and had almost worked with Godard, uh, who had been in talks to direct uh, the terrific Little Murders. Alban was fresh off of M.A.S.H. and McCabe and Mrs. Miller, which were two of his best films, and this really did seem like an odd choice for him. But you look at it now and it just fits like a glove. Like all of Altman's films, it's packed with terrific actors in the roles. Some of them are old familiar faces like Sterling Hayden. Others are non-actors like uh, Nina Van Palen. This was her first film. She was famous at the time for having been the girlfriend of Clifford Irving. There's also Jim Booten, the Yankees pitcher. And in a small part, but very memorable, is the director Mark Rydell, uh, who went on to direct On Golden Pond and had also directed The Cowboys, one of John Wayne's best films. He's absolutely chilling. He's just this cold-blooded sociopath. Just one of the most frightening screen villains you'll ever see. Playing one of Rydell's henchmen is a young fellow by the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has no lines, but he gets almost naked, and it's a pretty impressive sight, actually. He was, he was definitely built. He went on to a career in politics, I'm told. The theme song to the film was by Johnny Mercer and John Williams. It's a wonderful song, very kind of smoky 40s torch song and it crops up throughout the film. It's playing on different versions of it, play on radios or playing at parties. At one point, it's even the sound of somebody's doorbell. As time goes on, I'd even say, I, I think it starts to look like Robert Altman's best film. Certainly my favorite of all of his movies, and he made some great ones. I ain't running after you in the rain when you're catching a plane. No more, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I'm through, I'm through this time and I'm